So let me get this clear. You are supporting a deal that you think is obnoxious. I think that puts it very neatly, David. That's correct. It is obnoxious. There are, in, the, in, in the words of one article, there are 40 things that are totally wrong with it. And the particular the backstop, the Northern Irish backstop, remains an absolutely appalling uh, piece of work. And I feel very, very worried about it indeed. But if we leave on the 29th of March, uh, which we would do if we get this deal through, leave on the 29th of March, after that we can try and sort some of this stuff out. We'd then be a free and independent nation state and the lawyers can get to work on seeing what we can do. If I could just respond to this, I mean, this is absolutely no way to be making the most important decision since 1945. You know, you could hear James Gray there saying if we remained, we'd be some kind of vassal state, you know, that, but actually we'd remain on exactly the same terms. And that is still a possibility. And if he thinks leaving under these terms is so bad, why is he resisting giving the people a chance to change their minds? He's clearly changed his mind. I think we need to have that vote at the end because what he promised people will be so simple, as you put, pointed out to him, has actually turned out to be a lot more complicated than I think he knew at the time. Therefore, it's absolutely right that people have a chance to say if this Brexit is the Brexit they actually wanted, or if they think actually staying in the EU might be better. Is this deal going to go through, do you think? I think it's quite difficult to say because I think a lot of um, MPs are having to eat a lot of their own words, as you saw James Gray doing there. I think it's pretty much on a knife edge for Tuesday. Um, but really, it's extraordinary. At each stage, I mean, I'm very risk averse, so I've been concerned at each stage that this deal would go through because I don't think it's a good deal for the country. It could go through on Tuesday, but I think what we really need to do is to take a step back now. Is this the best decision for the country? It's not about James Gray or Marcus Fish or anybody else and their personal trauma. It's about what's going to happen to the country. Is this still what's best for us? We need a lot of time time and space to decide.